Hello and good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tiffany from All My Tumblers. Uh, just so everybody's aware, I am a little hoarse. Um, I did get over a cough, a cold, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now I apparently have a really hoarse voice. Um, so hopefully it comes back fully soon. But I'm going to show you guys how I did this amazing tumbler and I'm gonna tag my friend Lindsay below um, because she does make these files and I had reached out to her and I was like hey I'm gonna do a YouTube tutorial from beginning to end on how we do your files on these tumblers and she was like oh my god yes how freaking cool so let's get the party started and I'm also gonna link down in the description of what you need for this tutorial. So <laughs> let's do it. So this is where it gets um, really fun. If you go on my link below on Amazon, you can find the anti-scratch cat training tape is what we use for these files so that we can apply them to tumblers. The good thing about these is that they come in the size of 12 by 17 inches. So you can basically get two cups out of one sheet. So my friend Lindsay at Brave Danger Designs, she does actually do these for the 24 ounce um, plump tumblers. I forgot where she gets them from, but I did have to go in because I get mine from the tumbler supply store. I had to go in and resize it to the size of my tumbler that I am using today. So here, I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit so that I can size it to what I need to size so that we can get cutting. Um, I do use the Silhouette Cameo 4. Um, you can also do this on a Cricut as well. So here, um, because of the tumbler that I used, I sized it to eight inches in height and nine and a half in width. So here I'm gonna open up the pinstriping and I will copy it on to the other screen that I have on my silhouette so that I can size it perfectly to the cup so that when I pull my pin stripping off and cut it with my vinyl cutter, I will be able to have it the exact size. Here I'm just gonna fast forward through um, you guys, I'm sure, know how to size your things, and I just wanted to show you how I do it on my end. And now that I've done the exact measurements, I'm going to take it, copy it, and put it into the next screen so that I'm able to cut it separately from the cat scratching tape. I will be using a vinyl for this for the pinstriping. So I am gonna speed up the cutting a little bit. I did use the washi tape setting on my silhouette. On the Cricut, if I'm not mistaken, there is a custom button um, I think you can find for washi tape. I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I've used a Cricut because I switched over to Silhouette. So now that it's all cut out, I will go in and show you piece by piece on how you pull off the top layer of the paper and apply your glitters to each part. So here I'm using my weeding tool to pull the areas that I want to put glitter on. The glitter I am using is Underworld from my website. It does have a little bit of a holographic sparkle to it, which I really love this glitter. I love the fact that I was able to mix this glitter and I was able to have it on my website for you guys to purchase. 
what I love about these files from my friend Lindsay at Brave Danger Designs. I mean, they're super easy to follow and they're not hard at all. Um, here you will see me pouring the black glitter and then the best part about this is you just rub a dub dub with your fingers. So as you can see here, we kind of skipped to the good part because apparently somebody was calling my phone as I was in the process of recording these colors that I had already done. So you could see that you literally just go in color by color. Um, for the green, I did use Sour Apple from my website. So here you will see me weeding out an area and now I am using Lavender Ice, which is also on my website. You don't have to use the same colors that I did. You can use any choice of glitter colors that you have on hand. I personally wanted to use Lavender Ice with the Sour Apple and my Underworld that is on my website. And at this point, what you're going to do is once you've rubbed it in and you get the glitter off, you're going to tap it a few times and then you're going to go in with just a brush just to kind of get off the access so that later on you can switch out to a different color. So basically what you're going to do is for every single color, you're going to weed what you want. You're going to place your color and you're going to repeat the same steps of rubbing it in and then you're going to tap it and then you're going to hit it with a brush to clean it off and go on to the next area that you are going to glitter. Here I decided to use one of my favorite glitters that I carry, which is Holy Grail. It is a white, beautiful, purplish blue iridescent, and it's gonna look great on the cup that I already prepped and I have spray painted it white. Here, honestly, I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided to get bold with it, and I decided to kind of ombre the green into the black on this area. So here, as you can see, I am now taking my prepped tumbler and I am wrapping the design around it just so that I can cut it exactly to the cup. So here I did notice that I did not size it perfectly, which is fine because I did leave a little bit of the sticky left on the side so that once I was able to wrap this cup, um, I can go in and glitter that part again with the gray color. So here I'm just kind of bending the back a little bit so that I can place the cup on it and I'm going to lightly just continue to roll and keep rubbing it so that it stays flat and flush to the cup. So 
So as you can see here, I will be rolling and pressing at the same time. You're gonna wanna do this the entire time that you are placing this onto your cup. And you don't have to do it fast. I did speed this up. I actually did it a lot slower than what the video is showing you. So this is the part where I am going to show you even though I did space it too much instead of doing the exact measurements, because it happens to any of us, um, I did pull off the white paper on the back end. I had to use my weeder for this because apparently my nails didn't want to work. So I just pulled it off. And then once I ripped that off, I went back in and I just followed the flow with the other half and just got it flat and flush. And then once I did that, I was able to go in, pull the white part off, and I was able to glitter it again. So funny story, my husband had no idea that I was gonna do this tutorial today. And he made me my coffee this morning. Obviously it's pumpkin spice, cause you know it's pumpkin season. And it is my Nightmare Before Christmas mug that I had bought probably about 10 years ago and it's still kicking. So this is the part where I was talking about where there were still a leftover piece but I was able to go in with my gray glitter um, I think this one I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet it will be up on the website probably within the next two weeks I will be launching it and I might want to call it gunmetal I'm not sure if you guys have any um, ideas on what I should name it drop a comment below and we'll see which one gets chosen here I did have a little bit left over so I just kind of bent it onto the cup and I'm going to go in later and just exacto knife it off. So here once I did my exacto knife and I cut my trimmings I went in with parchment paper and just kind of squeezed it down so that I could get any air bubbles or anything that was still left over. And there you have it. A easy SVG file from Brave Danger Designs. So this is where the fun part comes in. I was able to cut the pinstriping. This is just regular vinyl. So whatever settings you use to cut your vinyl, that's the settings you're gonna use. Um, it was an easy peel, easy to come off. And I am so excited that I was able to do this tutorial for you guys. And this is the part where I thought I could be a bad bitch and try to pull it off all at once. But um, it kind of got a little stuck. So I did struggle a little bit with it. Um, and yeah, you get to see the struggle is real. I do want to let you know that my cup was already epoxy twice before I decided to go in with the pinstriping. So here you're just going to see me do piece by piece in order to place it on the cup. It is okay if it does have a little extra on the bottom or the top because you're gonna go in with your X-Acto knife anyway and you're gonna cut out the axis that is left over.
So here, once again, I thought I was gonna be a bad bitch and decide to do the middle part with the transfer tape. Um, yeah, that didn't work out too well. So I ended up having to do it piece by piece. As you can see here, I basically did it piece by piece and now I'm just going in and cleaning the bottom. I will put one more piece of the pinstriping and then you can let it sit for 20-30 minutes if you want. You can hit it a little bit with a heat gun just so that it adheres to the cup. And then you can go in with your next layer of epoxy. As I said before, I struggled a little bit here with the transfer tape. So I do suggest the way Lindsay does it is to do it piece by piece. And there you have it. Easy SVG files from my friend Lindsay at Brave Danger Designs. And there you guys have it. Two beautiful tumblers. Um, I am so excited for these. Um, I am going to once again tag Lindsay on the bottom. And on top of that, I am also going to tag my website and my Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, it means the world to us. And thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have a fantastic freaking day. Bye.